there's no better feeling than coming home after a week away and just spending time in your house. So I was on vacation in California for a week. It was so fun. I literally went on my own. Like I didn't have my parents with me or my siblings. I was just with my friend Grace and her family. It was such a good time. I enjoyed it. That was probably my favorite trip that I've been on this year and last year and the year before that. Like the last three years. That was my favorite trip. I've been home. This is my third day being home and I'm still just enjoying every little bit of being home. Like my coffee machine, my bed, my TV, and my living room, my shower, like literally just everything. But that is all about to change because I'm going out of town again. So my friend invited me, I think they invited me like two weeks ago to go on a church camp to Florida. It's basically like you just go, you go to Florida. There's like some games and stuff, but apparently there's just a lot of downtime to like go to the beach and stuff. And I was like, sign me up for that like i need to go because i'm gonna know people there but i'm also gonna have a good amount of people i don't know so there'll be a lot of new people to meet which i always love it's florida it's big road trip like the whole thing just sounded so fun even though it was right after my california trip so <laughs> i'm definitely gonna be a little bit tired i think when i come home just because like i haven't had that much time to like rest and stuff but honestly i feel like that's how things should be when you're it's summer and you're 16 like you should push it you should say yes to things and have all the activities and the experiences in the world and that way you really appreciate when things kind of chill out like i've been appreciating these last three days just so much so i went to target yesterday to get prepared i wanted some like colorful clothes so i got these shorts they're really fun they fit super duper well they look like a little skirt when you have it on which is honestly nice because like you get the idea of a skirt but it's comfy like shorts and I love the color and then I got this top it's so fun I love the colors inside out the colors are great it's a complete halter top like literally if I have anything in like this realm like you'll be able to see it then I got this big shirt because I realized I don't have a lot of like big comfy shirts and if I do they're like gray and I just feel like gray washes me out I also got a new mask new mascara because mine's running out and then I got a mini bar of soap to bring because yeah I love the smell Dove soap is so good. I literally trust Dove so much. I could buy any of their products and I feel like they work with me. I don't know why. I need a pack today and I need to just like overall prepare for the fact that I'll be gone for another four days. I'm also really excited because before I left for California, I bought a big calendar and the calendar only started in July, but it was June. So now that it's officially July, I get to start using it and I am so excited. So I'm gonna mark off July 2nd has already happened. And then I have today, which is happening now. I'll have all of Florida. So when I come home, I'll have to check off every day that I was in Florida and then write down any new stuff that happens to come up. Because right now, July is pretty free. I know I'm going to Austin at the end of the month, but for the most part, we're pretty Gucci. Most of the stuff I'm going to bring is literally the stuff I got from California. And I put it all in the dryer. So pretty much everything's already together. Like this I'll bring. I'll probably bring this shirt to sleep in. So for California, I wasn't checking a bag and I brought this suitcase, which is really small. And for camp, we're supposed to keep everything kind of concise because we all have to fit our baggage onto like one big trailer basically. But for camp, we also have to bring like sheets, books, and towels and stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it all in there. I take back everything I just said. I can't find any other suitcase that's not gigantic. So we're just gonna have to make this work. Okay, I've packed all the clothes that I think I'll need, but they also sent a packing list. So I'm gonna look at that. Okay, one suitcase, sheets, toiletries, sunscreen, water bottle, pen and pencil, swimwear, beach towel, and bath towel. Ooh. I don't have room for another towel. It's just gonna have to do. Beach chair? I'm not bringing a chair. Okay, and then shoes and socks. That will work for the park. A cover-up. Ooh, actually, that's a good one. I can just wear one of my shirts and my shorts, I'll be fine. Oh, a plastic bag for wet bathing suits, that's smart. You know you're maturing when you start keeping a drawer full of bags you get from the store.
I'm gonna pack my computer in the morning because it needs to charge up, but I'll go ahead and pack my headphones. So since there's not much room in my suitcase, I'm gonna bring all this type of stuff in this like bag and I'll just have to hold it on my lap or something in the cars. And then I'm also gonna put my swimsuits in here and my food and this bag and chargers and stuff like that. Hello! I'm on my way now to HEB. I've gotten the majority of my packing done already. It was really easy because I just went to California and like, I'm kind of just wearing and bringing all the same things. Like I haven't even unpacked like my toiletries. I'm just gonna grab the bag, throw it in. It's gonna be fine. So the road trip to Florida is I think about 10 hours, but we'll have to stop multiple times. It's gonna be a whole day thing. Like for all of the 4th of July, because that's when I'm leaving, I'll be in a car. Now here's the thing. I hope some of y'all understand this, but I am literally the most picky person in the world when it comes to food. I don't know why I've always been. My appetite is so, so limited um, to various little things. If I don't bring my own food, I might end up just not eating a lot of the camp food. All camps have like really disgusting food and I've made that mistake in the past and I end up being kind of like weak and trying my best to eat, but like I just kind of can't. So I'm gonna go to HB and get some food that like I know will fill me out, like bars, bars and stuff. Okay, let's do this. I don't have a list or anything. I think I'll just figure it out. Dang, I really did that in less than 15 minutes. Okay, so there's a little bit of a situation that is stressing me the heck out. So basically, I have plans with my family um, in like a few hours for 4th of July since I won't be in town on the 4th of July. And it's like 30 minutes in one direction, okay? So I'm in this group chat for the, the camp and they're saying that I need to drop my stuff off at the church, which is 30 minutes in a different direction. And like, I just don't have time to drop my stuff off because all week and stuff, like they've been saying, bring your stuff in the morning, we'll pack it in the morning that we leave. So I'm like, great, cool, that works great for me. That way I don't have to go to the church twice in one week. And now they're all changing their mind and they're like, y'all have to bring your stuff, otherwise the bus is gonna leave without you. And I'm just like, what is going on? And like, I plan my day around stuff with my family, not even thinking about dropping my stuff to the church. So now I'm just trying to figure out what am I supposed to do? Because literally, like I texted the guy who's in charge of this and I was like, I literally can't, like I don't have time whatsoever to bring my stuff. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll go tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, what you just said? <laughs> I'm so confused and stressed. So I'm just gonna keep packing up my stuff and just like literally hope for the best. So I'm just going to put my phone away for a second. I'm just gonna journal and I'm going to not be stressed because I don't feel like it. My new hummus, 10 out of 10. I got roasted garlic hummus from HB. So I'm currently designing something to basically say, can we hit 60K by August? I just hit 57K on YouTube, which is so crazy and I'm so excited. And usually I think I go about a thousand a month, but I totally think we can get 60K by the end of this month. So I'm gonna advertise it all over everywhere. And by making this, it gives me something to post during the week that I'm not gonna have to create in Florida. That way I can just kind of like enjoy my time in Florida. At least I've already done my HEB trip, so that is out of the way. I was gonna pack everything up in like boxes and stuff, but honestly, the packaging it does come with, like all this stuff, that's like, it's not taking up much room. So I think I'll just put it in the bag as it is. Except the hummus, I'm gonna have to pack that, it's specific. Dead bug, ew.
I just arrived at Panera Bread. I'm meeting my family here and we are gonna celebrate the 4th of July. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be driving all day on the 4th of July tomorrow and we just decided to do it today. And then also our town is putting on like a big festival thing with like fireworks and stuff. Kind of like the one I went to in California with Grace. And we've never gone any year because we usually do our own party. So this year we're attending it. I'm really excited. They're like 10 minutes away. I got here really early so I'm just gonna like Wait. I'm wearing a cute little outfit though. Look, it's red, white, and blue. Okay, red, blue, white. So cute. every year what is this lighting um deal with it i'm on my way home it's currently 9 30 still have to finish some stuff and i told my sister that i would stretch with her and i still have to eat dinner and take off all my makeup and get in bed and fall asleep and so i'm really nervous about not getting enough sleep hopefully i fall asleep by at least like 11 that's my hope but i have to get up at 5 in the morning tomorrow so I'm so excited. I Okay, here's the thing. I'd be slightly more excited and like more adventurous if I didn't just have another trip, but I'm also really excited for this trip, so it's like, ah, uh, I gotta just deal with it. I gotta just deal with it. Y'all, literally every single thing got worked out in terms of like dropping stuff to the church or not because I was getting so confused. So I reached out personally to one of the guys and he was like, just bring it tomorrow. Like, it's not a big deal. And I was like, be you. And then we found me a car to go in because I wasn't sure what car I was going to take. And so I am feeling so relaxed because um, everything is situated. I mean, it's not like I'm, it's not like I would have showed up and been like really stressed if the plan wasn't like exact. But at the same time, like, I don't know if you don't know the people and you don't know what's going on, it can be kind of stressful. Aww. Ah! All right, y'all, this is all my stuff packed up and ready to go. It's 10.40. I'm so happy I did everything I need to do and now I'm gonna go to bed. Wish me luck in Florida! Ah! Good night.